Hello there! I'm Aurelia from the board game stores Spieldurst and Hive World here in Cologne, and today I'll show you your uh, trick taking card game by authors Michael Palm and Lukas Sach. Um, it's for two to six players, ages eight and up, and with a playing time of around 30 minutes. It's also the first game from the new publisher Ten Traders. Uh, publisher that is very close to our hearts, because one of the ten traders is Christopher, our boss. First, the game material. We've got, of course, a block to put on all the points. We've got little markers for points and the bigger marker for Jomo. I'll come to, to the markers and what they're used for. And of course, we've got 70 cards with values going from 0 to 69. They are um, divided in f different colors with uh, reds, orange and yellow being the colors that are always used. In a two-person game you only use those three, in a three-person game you'll use green as well, in a four-person game blue, dark blue, in a five-person game, and violet comes as well in a six-person game. So in a six-person game you'll use all the cards. So now to the game. Normally we, of course, put a little more space between the players and cards, but I need something that's a little smaller so the camera can pick everything up. So Yomo is played in a lot of different rounds um, and each round has a few different tricks that are played. Um, the game ends when someone gets 20 points and then uh, the person with the most points wins the game. Um, at the start of each round each player gets 10 cards, 10 cards uh, will be put aside, they'll come in to the next round and be uh, be mixed with the cards that we've got here. The person left of the one who gave the cards starts the game, puts one card in the play area, this person left of this one a second one, and now we've got the gap which uh, gave the name to the game. Yomo means gap, and all cards that are played now must be placed between those two cards. So a card with a value of 2 would not be possible to be played in here, because it's outside of that gap. Everything that's over 27 can't be put in there either. So the next people can always choose to put in a card that would work, or they choose to pass to say, I don't want to play a card, or I can't play a card, then they lose the right to play more cards in that trick, but they will be able to, to play cards in the next one. The last person to play a card into that trick will get all the cards, and one, one point, one token for that, uh, for that trick. Of course, there are a few other cards which have a few special effects. First, we've got the, the cards of tens, so the, the 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 cards. They have always a star on them, which means that they will give you one token per star cards in the trick you just won. So these cards give you more points, very useful, but they can also give you minus points if you still have one of these cards in your hand at the end of the round. So you want to play these cards at least in the last trick so you don't have them on the hand at the, the end of the round. Then you've got the ones with the infinity symbol. Those are the cards with uh, numbers that repeat themselves, so the double zero, the 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, and 66 cards. Those cards can always be placed. So, 
the 44 would not be a card that you can play between 3 and 27, but you are still able to play it because it has these, this special rule and this special symbol. Then there's the third card, that would be the fiver cards, so 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, and, uh, 55 and 65. Those have these, this symbol on them, which means that they can either be placed in the middle, like every other card, or they can be placed on either of these limit cards to shrink the gap in which we can play cards. Like this, we uh, would just shrink the gap of two cards. In this case, there would only be a 26 card, or the infinity symbols, that could be placed in the middle now. These cards can, of course, only be played if they are able to be placed in this gap. The only exception to that rule would be the 55, which has the gap symbol and the infinity symbol, so it can always be placed and is the only card that allows you to get a bigger gap and allows you to place more cards in the middle. The other cards to have two symbols is the double zero. This one has also the infinity symbol, which allows it to always be placed, and it gives you one point or one minus point if you still have it on your hand. Then the game is continued to be played until one person has put all their cards in the middle. This person gets the Jomo marker. At the end of that trick, the game, uh, the round ends and you will count the points that everyone gets. One point per little token, one point for the Jomo token, one minus point for every star that you still have on your hand, and then the next round starts. You put in all the cards that you put aside at the beginning of that round, you, you shuffle the cards, and uh, give 10 cards to everyone. The person with the Jomo marker gives the cards, and the person left of that one is the person who starts the next trick. 